Gary Vickers here and I got a fairly rare machine pistol for you this time. This is the CZ75 machine pistol. at Center Firearms out here in Las Vegas loaned it to me and the crew to come out here to the range to light it up for you. Let me take you through some of the features. Notice the longer barrel that is ported. Now the safety also acts as not only a manual safety but the selector. That's safe. If I bring it down one, that's semi. If I come down all the way, that's full auto. There's actually a spring-loaded lever on the safety itself so if you apply downward and forward pressure, it'll go all the way down to fully automatic. One of the unique features of it, you use a spare magazine as somewhat of a foregrip. It has a little spring-loaded detent right here, and the bottom of the base plate is notched and grooved to accommodate it sliding on the front to use as a vert grip. There's no buttstock attachment, so you got to have good technique in order to control this thing. Although these machine pistols might look cool, in actual use in the real world, they're pretty lame. Hence why they never made much of a splash in law enforcement or military use. We're gonna load this up, put up some targets, and light it up for your benefit. Stay tuned. Hey gang, before we go live here, a couple observations. Just like a standard CZ-75, if the hammer's down in the double action mode, you cannot put it on safe. You can, however, select semi or full auto. So your very first shot from double action will go right into automatic or semi if that's what you want. Now, of course, like a standard CZ-75, if you've got the hammer cocked, you can put the gun on manual safety. It doesn't have the elongated trigger guard like the Breda 93R does. So in order to, to hold on to that magazine up front, you don't have the ability to hook that thumb through the trigger guard, which would be a real plus with this gun, especially since there's no buttstock. Magazine-wise, in order to detach the front one, you got to push this lever up and slide it off. At that point, you will not have a vert grip of any kind. I've done a little test firing here. My call is this thing on burst is going to be pretty brutal. I'm going to try to keep the burst down to two and three shots to the best of my ability, and we'll see what kind of muzzle rise we get. Here we go. Here we go. Go on high. Fairly rare bird in the United States for a post sample machine pistol in this case, CZ75, fully automatic. Hope you enjoyed it.